You flick through the articles, the newspapers, and the social media. Everyone gives you different answers, different opinions and philosophies. One time sugar kills you, and other times it's completely fine. The point of this video is to give a five minute breakdown of the effects of sugar on the body and give one value and not have to refer to anything ever again. Let's begin. First of all, I want to mention that I am not a nutritionist, nor I am a doctor. So take my advice with a grain of salt. All the information that I collated was from reading numerous scientific articles and papers, and I referenced everything below with the timestamps. And finally, the values and the references I used are from the NHS, the Public Health of England, and Harvard Health. And Harvard Health, Harvard, oh my God. So what is the big problem with sugar? Let me explain. So as we all know, sugar is found in a plethora of fruit. And the single most generic advice that doctors give is to eat more fruits. So why is it that all of a sudden the sugar in sodas and juice is now bad? Well, there is no chemical difference between the sugar in sodas and fruits. The difference lies in the medium that sugar resides in. Fruits do in fact have a lot of sugar, but they are also loaded with fiber. So fiber is what makes this type of sugar manageable by the body. This is because fiber is slowly digested and it takes time for your body to extract this sugar from the fruit. This means that the sugar processed by your body, more specifically your liver, is very slow and does not place a heavy load on the liver. In contrast, added sugar in sugary snacks and drinks hits your body very strongly and places a heavy load on your liver, so it can cause liver disease. And not only that, but they are filled with calories and this can contribute to weight gain. And sugary drinks are known to trick your body into turning off its appetite control system. And hence, the calories that you take from a liquid is not as satisfying as that from a solid. So this is why it's easier for people to add more calories when consuming sugary drinks. And the strongest risk factor for diabetes is obesity. Another reason why high sugar consumption is linked to diabetes is because it tempers with insulin. Just as a reminder, insulin is basically a hormone in the body that allows the sugar we consume to be stored in cells. But when we have a lot of sugar in the system from high sugar consumption, it messes with this process. It doesn't allow the insulin to do its job, which means that over time, less sugar is pumped into the cells and we end up with a lot of sugar in the blood or hyperglycemia and this insulin resistance precedes diabetes by 10 to 15 years so if I wanted to quantify my sugar consumption, how much sugar is okay to eat? Before I give you a totally arbitrary number, let me give you a perspective on how much sugar there is in common items. A 300 milliliter juice box has 30 grams. A slice of cake, 15 grams. A can of soda, 39 grams. A small mocha or 250 milliliters of mocha has 23 grams of sugar. And finally, a peanut butter sandwich has 4.9. And on average, adults should not consume more than 30 grams of sugar or seven teaspoons. And therefore sugar should not make more than 10% of your calories. This is because if it exceeds that, it can become very dangerous. A 2014 study found that over the course of a 15 year period, people who got 17 to 21% of their calories from added sugar had a 38% higher risk of dying from a cardiovascular disease. That is compared with those who consumed only 8% of their calories from added sugar. And I'm not trying to scare you into turning to see the details on every package. Just have an idea on how much sugar you should consume and do not exceed the limit by five times. I wonder who does that. Crazy guy. And be careful because food companies can be really cheeky because they trick you into thinking that there isn't a lot of sugar in this, but there is massive loads of sugar. So let's give an example. What if I gave you one large golden delicious apple? You will feel rejuvenated and attain the health benefits from vitamins and minerals. Most importantly, the sugar your body extracts from that apple will be processed easily. Compare that to a 300 milliliter juice box, which contains 30 grams of sugar that will attack your body with no fiber. Which one do you think is better? And that wraps up our video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm thinking of doing this as a series of these five minute food breakdowns. So mention it in the comments below if you want me to do more of these. You can hit the like button for me because it helps me a lot. And salam alaikum.